thanks for being on the program, John. Not a problem. Well, John, tell us a little bit about the company in the background. We're one of Melbourne's leading photographic companies, specialising in property uh, and architecture. Um, we photograph properties all over Melbourne. We've been in photography for oh, 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago we started Urban Angles. I got into uh, property photography because I just saw that, it, that people were making a meal of it. Um, it looked atrocious. I mean, I couldn't believe what I was seeing in the marketplace for, for angles and imagery for someone trying to sell something that might have been worth even in those days, a house worth two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollars that looked like they were just, you know, happy snaps. I mean, it's like today the people who shoot it on an iPhone, you know, it's a, tr you know, how can you do that? To, you're just devaluing the property from day dot. You haven't even started the process, and you try and put images up that look atrocious. I mean, today the marketplace sits in such a great world with regard to the presentation on iPads, internet. The quality has all gotten better that you must have superior images. If you don't have great imagery, you will not stand out next to the other guy. Um, and, and it still concerns me and, and makes me have a bit of a laugh to see that people actually still think they can get away with uh, taking happy snaps or dealing, dealing with firms which are not at the top of their game. So John, tell us a little bit about where people go wrong perhaps in the preparation of their home for photography. The major mistakes we see in, in, in photography are uh, angle choice, uh, height of camera, um, and and then uh, essentially retouching as well. We use traditional retouching techniques. Um, uh, so a lot of people have heard in the market about a, a technique called HDR. Um, we use old school retouching where we overlay the layers of files to create one blended image rather than an HDR technique is put three images into a computer and let it spit out what you get. So we do it traditionally where we cut out every window, where we highlight and maximise each area of an image to create one best image for each, each shot taken. John, what would be the biggest tips you've got for owners preparing their home for photography? Yeah, the, the tips I'd say is make sure, you know, bench tops are clean and decluttered, you know, make, make sure that, you know, in, in bathrooms there's no personal items around. Possibly remove your own personal pictures from around the house as well, that type of thing can often be um, just seen as when someone's trying to present and think of themselves in their home, uh, in, in that house, it just uh, can take away a little bit sometimes. Um, making sure lawns are mowed is an important thing. And, and what would be some of the little things, John, people overlook? Get rid of bins, get rid of hoses, make sure the drive's swept, you know, paving's clean, you know, clean. Look at it as if it's a picture in, in your mind prior to us arriving. Your, your services, John, would you see them as expensive or a worthwhile investment on behalf of the owner? The, the affordability um, is, should not really be an issue with uh, dealing with uh, Urban Angles. I mean, our prices don't differ much more than uh, $100 here or there. And when we look at the cost of even a marketing campaign, um, photography is, is certainly the, the not the most, most expensive thing. It's important you get that right. It's going to go on the internet. It's going to go in brochures. It's going to go on boards. And we are a fraction of the cost um, for actually presenting the property. If you invest in good photography, uh, or great photography like we offer, um, you will obviously get results. We find that images uh, that we take forwarded through for editorial opportunities do get through, and that's why our images being great images, um, that's what the papers want, that's what they pick up, and definitely we find you get a lot more editorial opportunities from dealing with uh, the images that we take from Noel Jones. Thanks for being on the program, John. Really appreciate your time. I know you're a busy man, and uh, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. P pleasure.